In this video I'd like to talk about my Eddy, which is installed behind me on the wall. Um, I've had my Eddy installed now about six, seven weeks. Um, it's been working really, really well, really happy with it. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, the Eddy is what's called a solar diverter. So what it's designed to do is take any excess solar PV that you're generating and then it uses it to heat your hot water. So my Eddy, um, is connected to my mixergy tank. So you can see um, the kind of cabling here. So the eddy is connected into this little box over here, which is connected to, I'll try and get a good angle on that, uh, to this thing here, which is an element. So this is a dual element. Um, it's been, as I said, it, it's worked really, really well. Um, I've gotten numerous tanks of hot water out of it um, which has saved me heating the water overnight which I do via the element on my um, off-peak tariff. Uh, it's been doing a tremendous job but one of the problems I've encountered is in some instances when it's really sunny it heats the water in the tank to the, the better part of 75 or 80 degrees which is way too hot. So I reached out to Mixergy and asked them how I need to deal with that. Um, and they came back to me and said that it's just a case of adjusting the safety cutoff uh, in, the, th in the, uh, the element. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust that. So first things first, um, we're going to be doing work with electricity. So we need to make sure everything is turned off. Um, so first step is turn off the mixer G tank. Um, so that's completely dead. And the second step then is to turn off the eddy, which I can do from here. So we'll wait for that to turn off. Um, so that means it should now be safe to, to take the cover off the element. Um, to take it off, it's just a case of loosening this little knot here. Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to remove the nut. So I'm just using a pair of adjustable spanner, an adjustable wrench for this, or an adjustable spanner. So as you can see, there's two elements in this uh, in this unit, but due to the arrangement with the, the PV switch provided by Mixergy, only one of these is in use, and it's the one on the on the left here. So you can see some numbers on there, ranges from sort of 9, 30, 52, 73. It's kind of upside down, so use your imagination. Um, and what I want to do is adjust this uh, kind of closer towards the 52, not quite. Uh, there we go. So that means now the element, the, the temperature sensor in this should disconnect once it detects the water's at. Well, whatever that is, I'm hoping that that's around sort of 60. Uh, maybe we want to be a little bit further this way. It's not quite. Well, it kind of is kind of halfway, isn't it? So you can see what we've got there. That's about, I suppose that's about halfway. So that should be about 65-ish. I'll need to wait and see um, as to what temperature that cuts out at. But that's how I do it, and I'll, I'll put the cover back on now and switch everything back on. Just like that on. That's it. We just 
took the padding around it. And we tighten this leg up. And that's the job done. You can see now that it's had the desired effect. The temp is cut off um, after putting in 7.24 kilowatt hours. The tank is full and I just checked the Mixergy app and the temperature is around uh, 69 degrees. So I wasn't far off. I'll tweak that a little bit more, see if I can get closer to 65. But pleased with that, that's obviously a lot better. 70 I think is still too high, but uh, it's a lot better than it being 80 uh, or 85 so yeah happy happy with that so that's it for this video hopefully you found it useful i'll be keeping an eye on my eddy um, over the next couple of days we've got a really good forecast so i'll be making sure that it's not overheating the water in my tank um, and i'll report back um, just to let you know how it's getting on um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below. Um, please like the video if you found it useful. Uh, do check out my other videos, um, especially the one where I actually installed the Eddy. Um, you, might, you might find that interesting. Um, if you do find it interesting, please do subscribe. Um, I've got some really interesting videos coming up um, over the next couple of weeks and months, I hope. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, take care.